Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading Jonah 3 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God, and proclaimed a fast, and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes and he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles saying let neither man nor beast nor herd nor flock taste anything let them not feed nor drink water but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God Yea, let them turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. Right, so guys, here's a conclusion right he went forward jonah went ahead and did as the lord said and preached a message to them and they heard and they were repentant yes guys they were repentant so these people whom jonah had condemned in his heart who god sent him to warn so that they could be saved so that they could have salvation and he didn't want to go here these people have turned and have gained their salvation have and have been saved through Christ because Jonah had finally repented of what he had done and went and did as the Lord bid him to do. So guys, I want to encourage you to do what the Lord bids you to do. You do not know who it will save. You do not know the impact that it will have, the level of impact that it will have on others. Because these people who were wicked and cruel, they all repented. And this shows you also the magnitude, the power of fasting because these people fasted they were fasting because no one would eat anything if you realize that was what was said they all deny themselves of food themselves and their animals they all were on a fast a worldwide fast a, not a worldwide fast a nationwide fast in their city they were on a city fast and guys i think that's something that we all need to do here in this day day and time and age guys we all need to come together as one people and have a nationwide fast to save our country to gain salvation for our people all our people okay so guys i'm just gonna leave that right there but guys please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.